guys, Joanna coming back, going to continue on here with the Rome 2 tournament hosted by the GCSL. We'll make sure to put the link for their Discord down below in the description. Uh, so here we are with battle number two here between the Royal Knights who are defending and the Honey Badgers. This team has a new name as of this video. So, uh... Yeah, let's get into the defenders real quick. As you can see, it'll be real easy to cover these armies. So we have Nervii here being commanded by the Bladestorm 2002. Arverni being commanded by the Grayson. King Grayson, sorry. And Nabatea is in here somewhere. I have no idea where he is. He does not have a wall artillery. Uh, but Nabatea is being commanded by Daku Gaming. So defending armies are complete. Let's move on over to the attacking armies. We have first here on the left side, Pizza Maker with Egypt. He is bringing with him six Galatian infantry, four units of Egyptian infantry, three units of Thorax swords, one unit of Galatian royal guard, right there. Uh, he is also bringing with him one unit of the Levi Thoreo spears, three units of Cretan archers, one Nubian bowman, and his general is a unit of the royal Thorax swordsman. Ooh, tough, 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 tough unit. Uh, to his first ally here, we have Misesili, who's being commanded by Inores. He is bringing with him six units of the Legionnaires, six units of Light Infantry, two units of Cohort, two units of Slingers, two Heavy Skirmishers. His general here is a unit of the Noble Cavalry, and way over here on the side, he's got a hidden unit of Numidian Riders, Medium Shock Cavalry. So that should be interesting to see how the defenders do. Again, we're always, always interested with Carthage, how people deal with this back passageway. So that will finish off the Mesesili forces. Let's get into Carthage here. Carthage is being commanded by Dead Ronin. He is bringing with him five units of Libyan infantry, four Iberian swords, three units of mercenary, mercenary Samnite warriors. He's got one Libyan hoplite, one unit of noble fighters, one Italian swords, Three units of Cretan archers here on his towers, and his general is a standard general's bodyguard. So I did press play on this. I'm not seeing any gates opening. I'm not seeing any cavalry coming out. So I'm assuming that there is no sort of a sally out. Maybe there's going to be some sort of a delayed sally out. Uh, we do see Egypt pushing up one of his towers here with a unit of Egyptian infantry. That tower is actually getting real close. Well, actually, it's not as close. I thought it was higher. Uh, looks like his artil the Nervii artillery is out of ammunition, though. Cecily does have a unit of his Numidian light infantry up on the wall already, finishing off this ballista. Do have some Celtic warriors making their way up here from Arverni up onto the wall. So combat has now begun. Battle is underway. Wow! Wow! Okay, so a lot of Navatea just showed up. Uh, axe Warriors, now Nopean uh, Swordsman. More Axe Warriors. I didn't see what that is. Pro uh, swordsman there. Some more Axe Warriors. I think I saw a unit up there. Uh, we have some Nabataean Heavy Archers. Two units there from Nervii. Some Celtic Warriors there. More Celtic Warriors here. Uh, we do have a little bit more of our Verney on this side. A couple units of Chosen Swordsmen. Solid units there. Some more Chosen Swordsmen. Oh, Levy Freeman. Beautiful. I actually love this unit. They are really good. This <laughs> Levy Freeman for their price. Very solid unit. Very, very solid unit. Uh, some more Chosen Swordsmen there. What is hiding back up over here? Oh, we saw those already. Those are the Celtic Warriors we already saw. Okay, so Carthage has made some breach holes. He's pulling these units of Iberian and Italian Swordsmen back. Essentially did make a breach here as well. I don't think he's pushing anybody through. It looks like he put that... Oh, I'm sorry, Carthage. Looks like he pulled that unit of Iberian Swordsmen back. Essentially does have a tower here. Some of the light infantry climbing up onto the walls as well. This unit of uh, light infantry not looking good. I mean, it says that there... Oh, there it goes. Okay, it went back up. Saw the yellow dot at the top there for morale. So it's not... look. It wasn't looking good initially. Looking good now, though. Let's see what we have here. Some more of the light infantry for Essentially... Oh, good job here. Light infantry getting some shots down on a very solid unit. Chosen swordsman getting hit by javelins from on top here. Look at this. Great shots down into that chosen swordsman unit. Already down to almost 25 men. Another... Oh! 
Another huge volley from these light infantry coming in. This unit of Chosen Swordsman not looking good. Already down 40 men. Another breach has been made here by Masasili. Let's see what's going on on this side with Egypt. Is he moving? Uh, actually, oh. So Egypt is going to move his guys around over this direction. That could be really interesting to make some breaches here. Get some towers up on the walls as well. Because I'm assuming that the defenders probably just all massed up their units. The majority of their army up here in the front. As you can see, I mean, that's a ton of Nabatea here. A decent amount of Arverni. We do see some of Nervii's units scattered around. Uh, I do want to just say this here. This is the town center right there. Oh, that was a crazy line. This right here is the town center for Carthage. I say it at the beginning of every single, or I try and say it at the beginning of every single one of my battles, just so everybody is aware where the town center is. I'm starting to see some Celtic warriors here for Nervia coming up. Chosen Swords currently holding back some of the Numidian light infantry. Does look like that unit of Chosen Swordsmen survived, but oh god. Desert Legionnaires now throwing in their javelins. I guess maybe they would have Pila because they're Legionnaires. Maybe they would actually have Pila. Here comes, here comes the bad boys though. The 210 Denarii unit right there. Levy Freeman charging in onto a unit of Desert Legionnaires. That should be an easy fight. <laughs> But still, I do love the uh, Levy Freeman. They are a very solid unit. They can hold for a long time. I just want to show my favorite stat of theirs, right? Two stats, actually. Their melee defense, 55. Bonus versus large, 25. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. The price of that unit and the bonus against large that they have is crazy. Actually, they are doing a pretty good job. They're... they're combat is even... Actually, unit is, the Desert Legionnaires are losing decisively, so they're holding... See, they're holding that unit of Legionnaires there. Gallic Hunters getting some great shots. Gallic Hunters for Nervii and Arverni getting some fantastic shots off onto the back of this Legionnaire unit. They're getting wrecked. Absolutely cut down from behind. 46 kills down half their unit with a total of 46 kills. Very good job there by the Levy Freeman. Says that they're losing now, but this unit of Legionnaires is not going to be around much longer. Another unit of the Levy Freeman here for Arverni pushed up, continuing to hold Desert Legionnaires in place. Let's see what Carthage is doing. He does. Oh, 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 that's. Oh, that's rough. Libyan infantry and the unit of the late Libyan hoplites completely surrounded. Nabataean swords, two units of those, and a unit of axe warriors. Carthage sending in yet another unit of his Iberian swords in here. Again, surrounded surrounded two units of axe warriors one unit of noble of uh, the, uh, noble sword no just regular nabatean swordsmen look at that iberian swordsmen wavering gone unit is destroyed do have a lot of peel of volleys coming in from this second unit of mercenary iberian swordsmen now or javelins i should say getting into the backs of this axe warrior unit good job whittled that unit down 60 men these other two units look like yeah they're still pretty solid Carthage pushing in here though the late Libyan hoplite starting to falter not surprising though it's a spear infantry unit so going against swords yeah they're gonna have a pretty tough time Libyan infantry still holding on though oh my god again dude the the ja oh my god <laughs> Jesus Christ the javelin volleys in this game is just sometimes just straight up mer just die dude just die you got javelins in your head, in your chest. Just die, dude. You got one going through the side of your head. There you go. All right. That brave soul finally has given up. Let's see how Egypt is going on his push around over here. Do you see a unit of Nervi? I think that's Celtics. Celtic war. Uh, Celtic warriors making their way over here. Not really sure how much is over here. Like I said, for the defenders, Sicily's cavalry still is not moving. Probably waiting for the absolute fantastic opportunity to be able to use them. Arverni again, just creating some really great shots. Nervii as well, moving their archers up. They still have ammo. They do. They're just getting a little bit closer here. Yeah, starting to get some good volleys in. I don't know. I think this might not be a good idea. Personally, uh, they might be getting some friendly fire. They might be killing some of these chosen swordsmen. Probably getting some shots in on the backs of these chosen swordsmen as well. 
once a unit is surrounded like this, even though it's Desert Legionnaires, once the unit is surrounded, uh, I, w I would tend to maybe hold off on the firing of any archers or anything like that. I mean, unless you can macro manage around enough to turn off all of the um, the javelin volleys, the free fire javelins. I mean, you can do that, but at least with the archers, I wouldn't be firing into these groups because, yeah, one of the chosen swords just got broken completely. So now we have two legionnaires and a unit of light infantry taking on a unit of Celtic swords and a unit of chosen swordsmen. Both of them are losing currently while they're being shot as well. Who's over here? Egyptian, uh, the Cretan archers getting some great shots in onto the back of these chosen swords and Celtic warriors. Very well done there by Egypt. Seeing a little bit of lag during this replay. I wasn't actually kind of surprised that that happens as often as it does happen. But regardless, we continue on here with the coverage. Um, yeah, Carthage is starting to get kind of held back here a little bit. Nabatea has a lot of his forces, and he's got... He has one kill pocket built, second kill pocket here just waiting. Yeah, more Libyan infantry making their way in. I mean, eventually they will be able to break through these Axe Warriors, especially the Libyan infantry, but he's going to lose a lot of units over here. Unless, you know, hey, this might be a tactic. They have Nabatea up here. Maybe they're just using Carthage as that, you know, as that to hold the majority of a full army up here. But I, well, that wouldn't really make sense. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody plays the game how they're going to play it. So, no judge, no jury here. Let's see what we have. Some mercenary Samni warriors just waiting to be told where to go. Actually, this could be a fantastic opportunity. Libyan infantry taking on these Axe warriors. They are winning this combat here. This could be a really good opportunity. We do see a lot of Nabatea, another unit of Celtic warriors here for Nervii, quickly charging their way over here to at least shore up this road. Um... I don't know if I would stop there, though, because if Carthage is able to get up here and capture this tower, that could start. Yeah, Nervia is going to push on through. He's got some of his Celtic warriors coming over here to back up these Axe warriors, I would assume. Shoot them back over, see what Egypt is doing. Still moving up. Egypt is still moving. Actually, he's got... Oh, I hate when that happens. That sucks. That really sucks when that happens. Just You, you get a tortoise all the way over here, and you get this little sliver of a wall. You can't use it. That sucks. But he does have another one of his uh, tortoises here. Here comes another wall section. The third tortoise will be moving up. Does still have all of his... Actually, no, he's abandoned all of his towers. So his plan is, it seems, to just take take advantage of this one breach point. I mean, it's a double breach point because of how he knocked a corner down. So definitely will have more room. Let's see what we have. We have one unit of Celtic warriors. Here comes some fierce swords for Nervii as well. They're going to start moving over. He might pick up a couple, maybe might not, do, might not be a bad idea to pick up a tower or two and just bring him in, but we will have to see how Egypt plays this. He's only, unfortunately, he's only got this one breach so far. He's about to knock in a second one, though, so he will have a couple of opportunities to make their way into the settlement. That's still right there. That sucks. That really sucks a lot. He was probably wanting to have two breaches, one on either side of this tower, so he'd be able to neutralize it pretty quickly. But regardless, let's move back over here, seeing some more Arverni units break. Chosen Swordsman unit breaking. Uh, Numidian Skirmishers. Numidian Skirmishers in here already? Are they out of ammunition? 62 kills? They're a, they're a Javelin unit? They might be out of ammunition by now. And they're actually a pretty good unit in uh, melee. Uh, 30, 35, 43 melee defense, 45 armor, so not a bad unit at all in melee. More javelins coming in from these Numidian skirmishers, immediately breaking this unit of chosen swords. Wow. Very well done. Just, oh. Oh, God, the javelin kills in this game are just, just brutal. Brutal kills. Get back over here, see how Carthage is doing. He's actually making some good headway. He did break this street open. That's good. That is definitely good. He's got some mercenary Sam Knight warriors coming up here. Hopefully, they'll be able to get into these Celtic warriors who were just getting some fantastic shots off onto the back of this unit of Sam Knight warriors. So, there we go. That is now stopped. 
Good job there with those same knights. Silencing the uh, javelins of this Celtic warrior unit. Uh, up over here, yeah, Navate is just held. Uh, looks like Carthage, really, actually Carthage doesn't have a lot left. What's he got? Some mercenary noble fighters, uh, Samnite warriors, another Samnite warrior. This Sam, this unit here, the Libyan infantry just got hit from behind hard by these Celtic warriors. We do still have some Numidian light infantry up on the wall taking on these Celtic warriors there. Uh, Libyan infantry, again, uh, this, yeah, the, this, this, this Libyan infantry unit is pinched. Though they did just break the one unit of the Celtic Warriors, they still have to deal with these Levy Freeman. Combat is pretty even though, 76 to 84, so not too bad. Let's see how we're doing on this side with the Sicily and Nervii. Celtic Warriors holding back these Desert Cohort already inside the town, or inside the settlement I should say. But there you go, see right there, I can't say for sure. But I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these Golic Hunter arrows got into the back of these Celtic Warriors. Might, might be getting some friendly fire there. So there they go, Celtic Warriors now breaking here. But we do immediately have some more Celtic Warriors here. Unit of, depleted unit of Chosen Swordsmen just right there, ready to hold. And actually, wow, Misaisley's pretty hurting too. Oh, his cavalry's moving. Let's get over here. Let's see what the cavalry's doing. He's moved up, he's visible. And Levy Freeman at the back gate. Two units. Oh, sorry. Levy Freeman and a unit of Spear Brothers back here at this back gate. That's not going to happen. They are not going to get through that. It's too many javelins. Too many javelins from these Levy Freeman. These Spear, these Spear Brothers are actually pretty good too, I think. Their melee defense 66, armor 50. That's going to be rough. That is going to be a very rough situation. For Misesely with that one unit of shock, because he only has one unit, right? Yeah, there's only the one unit of shock and shock uh, cavalry back there. Let's see how Egypt is doing. He is making his way through the breaches. We do see a unit of Celtic warriors here starting to waver. Nabatea does have some of his thorax pikes back here. Oh, they might be able to hold. They're taking some losses though. What did they take losses from? I don't, uh, I don't know. Maybe they were up over there and they were taking some damage from some archers. Yeah, I missed them. They pulled them all the way back around over here. Uh, but yeah, Egypt pushing in pretty hard. Galician swordsmen now coming in. But we have on this side, Thorax swordsmen, Galician swords, Thorax swordsmen, and Galician swords taking on some of the fierce swords here from Nervii. Do have a couple units of Nervii bowmen here getting some good volleys up and over into the backs of these Galician swordsmen there. Uh, Galician Royal Guard making their way up. Oh no. That could be huge. That could be a, a, a bit of a game changer there. We do have the Cretan Archers and Nubian Bowmen now getting some good volleys in onto this unit of Fierce Swords. They are taking damage. Down to 48 men out of that. Galician Swordsmere, Thorax Swordsman here as well. And these Galician Royal Guard coming in. Let's just take a look at their stats real quick. 50, 45, 69, 75. Good unit, and they also have headhunt and discipline. So, oh god, wow, that is. I don't play Egypt. That's actually a really good unit. They have a lot of bonuses to them. Gonna be able to crush into the side of that unit. Yeah, fierce swords breaking down there. This thorax swordsman unit not holding very well though. They're starting to waver. Nervii with a well placed unit of Golic hunters getting some good shots in onto these thorax swordsmen here. Galician swordsmen as well. Let's see how this front is going. Carthage actually, oh wow, actually the defenders are pulling back. Leaving a couple of units up here. We do have the Numidian Noble Cav Gen in here. He's probably causing some havoc. I do see a unit of the Nabataean Heavy Archers. Wouldn't be surprised if the general there got some good hits in on them. And he's going to come around, get a big charge in onto the back of this unit of Nabataean Axe Warriors. What is the general up to? 248 kills already. Wow. Amazing. So Frontline has been taken care of, has been beaten back. We do see the defenders quickly pulling back. Probably going to try and come over here and finish off, or at least put a big dent in onto the onto the Egyptian army here. Where are the royals? Are they in here? Galatian Royal Guard in there. Lost 22 men so far. Their kills are up to 46. They're still getting hammered though. Nervii Archers have a bead on them. Getting some good kills. Lo unit is losing, but this Fierce Sword unit that was holding them is about to break. 
What do we have coming in? Some more Chosen Swordsmen there. But I don't know. Thorax Swordsmen and the Galician Royal Guard, they might be able to break through these Chosen Swordsmen. Or if... Let me just pause it here for a second. If the Galician Royal Guard goes in first and hits these Chosen Swordsmen, this unit of Thorax Swordsmen could line up here and they should be able to fit right through this gap. And they might be able to wrap around and hit them on the sides. Oh wait, never mind. I didn't see this first. More Fear Swords coming on over here for Nervii. See Selyse starting to push his units up. Carthage, yeah, this whole front section has been taken over. Okay, so we can just concentrate for the most part back here. We do have a couple of units of archers up there, some Celtic warriors holding the front line. Yeah, two units of Celtic warriors, some of the Nervii bowmen up there, some of the Gallic hunters, uh, Nebatine archers pulling back. But, oh, is that the Thorax swordsmen are gone. The Royal Thorax swordsmen are gone. Wow. Destroyed Royal Thorax swordsmen. Crazy. Oh, I'm sorry, not Royal Gro Thorax swordsmen. Do apologize for that. The uh, Galatian Royal Guard. That's who that was. Galatian Royal Guard are gone. But on this side, Egypt's starting to push around over here, noticing that yeah, there's pikes here. Two units of pikes here. That's going to be a problem. I don't know if they still have javelins, though. They still have their if they still have their ranged. Unless they can get the Egyptian archers in over here, do they still have ammo? Actually, I'm going to have to put this on slow motion so I can see. Uh, looks like the Nubian Bowmen still have some ammo. Cretan Archer unit is out. Looks like the other Cretan Archer units are out. Nope, there's one Cretan Archer. They still carry in bows. Let's check their kills. Actually, like probably make it easier. 149, 166, 102, and 141. So, not a lot of volleys left. They may have a little bit. The guys that still carry in their bows, they might have a little bit of ammo left, but I don't think it's going to be enough to be able to get through this unit of pikes by itself. Hopefully, some of these guys over here still have their ranged. Let's get this back on to regular speed. Thoreo Spears. That would be a fantastic unit to still have ammunition. Let's see. They're moving up. Nope. They're pushing off a little bit. Oh. Archer fire coming in from the Gallic Hunters now. Thoreo Spears moving their way over here towards the Nabatee and Noble Cav General. Wonder what they're going to do with that. Maybe they're going to get some, try and get some shots off on unexpe unexpected general. Didn't take any losses. One loss on that volley. Let's see. Nabatean Cav is going to pull away. Do they get another volley off? Oh, God. Shot on the flank. And none of those javelins had the strength. One of them did. So two volleys killed two men. And now they're going to start taking some more damage from these Gallic Hunters here. No? And there's more hunters back here getting some shots, more ranged. Let's see, Egypt, uh, Galician swordsmen here. There they are. Egypt's archers have all pulled inside. Let's get back over here real quick. Yeah, not a whole lot of action. Nervii has pulled back. Averni has pulled back as well. But they did catch out a bunch of Nabataean forces here. Axe warriors, two units of those. Oh, there's a scorpion here. Oh, that's why they didn't have wall artillery. Okay. They're getting some good shots down, though. Oh, well, they're going to probably start getting wrecked. We do have Cretan archers here for Carthage. I wonder how much ammo they still have left. Let's see. 125, 120, 150. Not a lot. Not a lot. Maybe it'll be enough to get rid of this artillery crew, though. Let's see what the artillery crew has for kills. They've lost two men so far. 79 kills. Okay. Not too bad, but there you go. More, oh, more shots coming in. Cecily in general running around. Carthage general now in the back lines. We can't see if there's anything here for the defenders to hold back this cavalry. We did see the two units of pikes up over there. So we'll have to see. We're going to stick with the uh, Cecily general here for a moment. Just want to see if there's anything over here. Quick check over here with Egypt. Getting some good volleys. We do have a unit of Gullic Hunters coming out. Here's the Egyptian archers firing up over into this unit of pikes, destroying them. Good job there. Um, Cecily General actually looks like he's on a little bit of a scouting mission. He's probably just checking around, seeing what else we have. Is that shock cavalry still here? Yes. Which would tell me that the units are probably still nearby at this rear gate. Unless maybe they got brought back up to the front, to the town center. 
9 minutes 15 setting out there's a unit no they're still there okay so maybe the Mesesely in general charging in from behind might be able to get some good kills uh, maybe some good cycle charges with the Carthage general and the Numidian noble cav general also from Mesesely might be able to break the spear brother unit to get some good cycle charges oh here they come charging in onto the unit of Levy Freeman just getting wrecked oh my god that was a full unit 80 down to 18 destroyed I think maybe that rider unit should have held off and waited because now there's no reason for them to continue facing in that direction the Spear Brothers can just turn around Spear Brothers can just turn around and be ready in case the general decides to charge down let's see what we have going on still over here they still have ammo no no I don't think Egypt has any ammunition left does not look like he does and Carthage didn't have a whole lot of ammunition left either let's see do these guys still have their bows out nope these two units up over here just kind of keeping these units busy they did get rid of the artillery unit did they I don't see the scorpion I don't see the artillery flag anymore I don't know if he ran away though he might have run away um, as the Sicily general over here Carthage general as well there's really nothing over here, at least nothing I can see holding this street right now. So my, maybe not a bad idea to get some charges, try and get some maybe some cycle charges here. What do we have? Oh, that's right, Noble Cav Gens over here. That is a dicey game. I think, uh, yeah, that 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 medium shock Vanguard unit from the Sicily might have been a little bit helpful. Could have been helpful over here in this situation. Hmm... All right, let's get over into some of the fighting. Do we have any actual fight? No, Nabatea is actually pushing down. Looks like now Egypt is cut off. Egypt is cut off from his allies. Unless Sicily and Carthage come all the way around. Does not look like that's going to happen, though. Let's check out what's going on here. We have some Desert Legionnaires, a unit of mercenary Samnite warriors taking on some Fierce Swords. Fierce Swords currently losing that combat. Some more Nervii archers. Oh, they're out of ammo. They're going to come up over here into this little garden area there. Might be able to get a good good uh, charge down, flanking charge over there. Do have some tribal slingers here from Sicily, though, getting some shots. Probably, unfortunately, though, like the same earlier, probably getting some good or bad uh, friendly fire, depending on who you're rooting for here. So far, I mean, they do have the, they do have the view, though. So they might actually be getting a lot more kills on the Fierce Swords than they are on their own men, but probably some rampant stones here and there getting some shots in onto the Sam Knights and the Legionnaires. Let's see what's going on back over here. I do see the Nabataean General coming around again. The Sicily General pulling away. Carthage General standing here. Hopefully he's going to... Does Oh, no, he's not going to get away. Carthage's General just completely enveloped there by the Nabataean Noble Cav. 18 men here against 75, but the Basically General coming down, is he going to help? He is. He's going to charge in onto the back of the, co onto the uh, Nabataean General there, but Carthage's General starting to waver, and the Carthage General is gone. Is he, is he dead? General recently died right there. Basically General still trying to fight. 35, oh, he's trying to pull out of combat. He's going to lose a lot of dudes. Yeah, he just dropped about five or six trying to pull out of that combat. The Median General is going to, I mean, the uh, Nabataean General is just going to follow him. Absolutely. Let's see how we're doing on this side here. We have the Royal Thorax Swordsman General for Egypt and a unit of the Galatian Swordsman. Breaking a unit of Levy Freeman. Some more Spear Brothers there. I think those are the two units that were at the back gate there. Egypt pushing in here. He's got some Nabataean Axe Warriors broken. Just shattered them. Second unit of Nabataean Swordsman here. Not looking too good. The unit is losing. But I think the army losses might start coming into effect here at some point. If Mesesili loses his general, which looks like he's going to, army loss penalties might start coming in to play here. They could definitely start coming into play. Yeah, Mesesili general just, his flag just dropped. Let's see, is he general, is the general dead? Yes, Mesesili's general is now dead as well. Our Verney Osworn general pulling back closer towards the town center. Hot pursuit. We have some noble fighters, some light infantry, and a unit of desert cohort coming around. 
probably going to try and come around and break this unit of fear swords from behind. Nabatea is still pushing out. He's got two units of his heavy archers here firing into this unit of Cretan archers, which actually out of ammo, so not really that big of a deal. Nabatea wants to use their ammo on these on this out of ammunition unit there. I mean, go right ahead. Uh, I can definitely see a much better target that I'd be firing at. I would firing at this unit of Thorax Swordsmen in the back. This unit of Galatian Royal Guard still here. I thought they were gone. I thought we lost them over here. All right, I guess he pulled them back out, or maybe they were able to make their way through. But, oh no. The defenders don't have a lot left here. Three minutes, 33 seconds left. This? Oh no. Well, they do still have a unit of pikes. And there, there goes some more. Some more Nabataean Axe Warriors coming down. We do still have Nervi Eyes Osworn General, so maybe... Maybe they'll be able to hold. We do have the pikes coming up from behind here. These Nubian bowmen are mincemeat. They're going to be trashed completely. Uh, pikes are going to start making their way up the stairs. Osworn General over here taking on some mercenary noble fighters. We do have a very depleted unit of cohort coming around from essentially getting into the back of the Osworn General. He's probably going to be on his way. Yeah, he's on his way out the door. This is close. Nabatea still does have a decent amount of forces, and he still has Cavalry General. I don't think any of them... No, there's not a lot of attackers left, so this is this is close. Levy Freeman still here, running around. Another unit of Nabataean Swordsmen back there. Royal Thorax Swordsmen losing currently to the Osworn General, along with Archer Fire coming from the Nabataean Archers into the back. Pikes now closing in onto the back of the... Royal Thorax Swordsman General as well. Carthage trying to quickly come on over here. Let's see what the cavalry's going to... Oh, no. Oh, huge charge into some of these noble fighters. Masasili still pushing up, though. Masasili still has some good units. Desert Cohort there. And like I said before, his, his skirmishers are pretty good in melee. But these archers still have ammo. They do not. Cretan archers are out of ammunition. These archers getting some good shots. The Egyptian general is now gone. Starting to work in onto the Galatian Royal Guard. Pike's probably going to set up again. Are they going to set up? No. They're just going to stand there. And the archers are getting some good shots in onto the back of the Galatian Royal Guard there. Here comes the, Nabo the Nabataean Noble Cav again. Oh, there, there goes the pikes. They're going to push in and just finish them off. Two units of Nabataean Axe Warriors charging into some of the Mer Numidian Light Infantry there. Ner Mercenary Noble Fighters not looking good. Oh yeah, there they go. Starting to get a little bit of a waver going on. A couple of units from the attackers starting to waver here. Do you still have these two units of Slingers though? Let's check out what they have. 113, 93. So the Slingers should still have ammo. Actually, we have the unit of the Slingers climbing up. They're going to use this building to their advantage. Try and get some shots down onto the defenders here. I do have another unit. Nabataean unit starting to waver. Looked like they were going to come back from routing. But yeah, I don't think 44 seconds left. And yeah, there they go. Attacker units all starting to waver. Slinger's still climbing up though. Heavy skirmishers there. Second unit of Slingers here. Do they still have ammunition? They don't have their daggers out, so they do. They do still have some ammunition. This is I mean... I think it's over. 24 seconds left, not a lot left. Casualties sustained, yeah. The attackers are starting to waver. We got the Desert Cohort units, Legionnaire unit wavering, that Galatian, that uh, Noble Fighter unit just broke. 32 men left. So there you go. This is going to be a split down the middle. Royal Knights have one successful defense. Honey Badgers have one successful defense, so that means, guys, in this tournament next, we're going to have a field battle between these two teams to see who gets the choice to defend the final settlement. I don't know off the top of my head what settlement is being used for the rubber match or the tiebreaker. Uh, I will get that information out, though, for you in the before the land battle starts. Let's get into the army comps here. Pizza Maker with Egypt, his general, 188 kills. Oh, he had two units of Galatian Royal Guard. I only saw one. Uh, one with 82, the other here, 326 kills. Very well done there. 
Cretan Archers 146, 196, 191. Nubian Bowmen with 152. Egyptian Infantry 29, 8, 18, and 10. Glacian Swords 121, 46, 151, 80, 73, 42. Royal, uh, sorry, Thorax Swordsman here, 46 and 77, and his Levy 3 Spears, 101. Dead Ronin here with Carthage, his general, 25 kills. His archer's doing fantastic also, 196, 131, 145. Late Libyan Hoplites, one kill. They were just, they were shredded, absolutely destroyed. Libyan Infantry, here we go, 210, 49, 98, 80, 216. Pretty good kills there. They had a very tough position. Nabatea was holding those choke points with those death pockets pretty well there. So good job, at least, with the Carthaginian uh, Libyan infantry there. Uh, Iberian swords, 88, 39, 0, and 7. Italian swords, 8. Noble fighters, 9, 119. And the mercenary noble, uh, Samnite warriors here, sorry. 141, 166, 261. Inores here with Misesali, his general, 352 kills. Hats off to you, Inores. Good job there. Noble Riders, I'm sorry, Numidian Riders, unfortunately, only 44 kills. That was rough to see. That was very rough to see. The Javelins that came in and, in fact, start charging in two, two spear units. That was rough. Uh, his Numidian Heavy Skirmishers, though, 187, 72 is two units of Slingers. Seven, uh, 97 and 120. Desert Cold War, 213, 520 kills with this unit. Wow, very well done. Very, very well done with that unit. Legionnaires, 52, 397, 112, 111, 102, 103. Light Infantry, 28, 32, 8, 102, 285 with this unit and 120. Very well done. 3,000 kills here for Inares. Very well done. Let's get into the defenders. We'll start off here with Daku Gaming TV, who again he's got a YouTube channel. I'll make sure to drop his link down below in the description as well. Uh, Nabataean Noble Cav Gen 102, Eastern Scorpion here with 96. His Nabataean Heavy Archers 231, 235, 109, 104. Very well done with his archers. Uh, Nabataean Axe Warriors 107, 120, 242, 62, 145, 143. Swordsman here 143, 186, 40, 131. 129 and 98 and his two units of pikes one of them getting absolutely shredded by the uh, Egyptian archers the other unit here 142 kills we did see them kill off the Egyptian general so very well done with that unit of pikes Bladestorm here with Nervii his general 128 kills his Gallic hunters 209 79 91 169 Celtic Warriors, 12, 99, 64, 109, 210, 208, 35. Fierce Swords, 86, 146, 74, 174, 79, 173. Levy Freeman with 60, and the Spear Brothers here with 73. And finally, the King Grayson here with our Verney. His general, 78 kills. Gallic Hunters, 13, 166, 115, 163. Celtic Warriors, 186, I'm sorry, 86, 123, 160, 71. Chosen Swordsmen, 74, 25, 112, 112, 95, 86, 154. And his Levy Freeman, four units of Levy Freeman. Very well done. I, I dude, I, can, I love the Levy Freeman. They're so good for their price. They are such a good unit. Uh, 48, 26, 14, and 16. Again, their spears, they're not, their job isn't to kill their job is to hold so the archers and other units can get kills. So, all right, guys, that is going to be the end of this battle, the second battle between these two great teams. So we will be back with the field battle. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying, having a good day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Stay safe.